Class is in session. I'm Professor X, and in today's video, we're talking about define stupid. We're going to get into that right here, right now. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, okay, let me tell you a little story before we get into the video. Um, I was raised in California, and there was a time of my life where Stockton, California, as a matter of fact, my mom would, uh, after school was done, summertime, I'm thinking I get to just relax, but no, my mom made me read books and do book reports, right? So I hated it. I hated her for that. So I get asked often, what is my daily habit? So if you stay to the end of the video, I'll share with you one thing that I do to get my mind right in the morning. That's coming up in the B-roll. Stay tuned. Um, long story short, I, I now thank her because, you know, it made me really appreciate that reading is fundamental. And so I, I always, I just developed this affinity for words and word usage. And I recall like, Sometimes we would get into these board games and I would use these words and they would come in handy because because of my word usage, we would often win these games. So um, that's a little bit of my story. Now let's get into the meat of this video. Let's talk about the word stupid. We begin with the pronunciation of the word. Stupid. It's an adjective. And it means having or showing a great lack of intelligence or common sense. Here are some similar words you can use also. Unintelligent, ignorant, dense, brainless, mindless, and foolish. Let's use it in a sentence, shall we? I was stupid enough to think she was perfect. Or, here's a good one. It would be stupid of me not to go through Xavier's store to purchase any products he may have because he is a veteran with a small business and he spends his days helping people like me get better at the game of life. There you have it. I crack myself up sometimes. So the lesson is done and Professor X is done teaching for today. So let's switch gears a little bit, and I want to get a little serious, not too serious, but serious enough to let you know that I'm here to serve, uh, and I'm, I'm always here going to do my best with what I have until more can be created. And if you like what you saw, then go ahead and drop a thumbs up, drop a comment, show me some love, and I promise you I will show it right back. Switching gears, uh, if you need any help with your nutrition, your, your fitness, or if you need some products and you... You want to support a small owned business rather than going to the big box operations, uh, then I would be honored to serve you. So check out some of the offers that I have down in the description. Uh, be sure to subscribe and let me know what I could do to serve you at a higher level. All right. I'm Xavier Smith and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Be hey, you're still here. So you're probably interested in the B-roll. Uh, in the beginning of the video, I told you that I get a lot of questions about some of my habits, my daily habits. Uh, and I, I'm going to take you back to a friend of mine back in California who um, he gave me a compliment. He said I had a nice voice. I let him know that I used to sing in the choir. So what, I, what do I like to do nowadays since I'm not singing in the choir anymore? Uh, I actually like to do this. I like to sing in the shower. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. That's what I do not, right now, you know, just to um, get my spirit right, get my mood and vibrate a little bit higher. Vibrate, vibrate higher. Where did I get that one from? Drop a comment down below because I want to know. So that's it. I am done officially. Stay tuned for the next video. Be sure you subscribe so you can get it. Bye.